to it. You know, I'm not going to lie. The voice actor for the Bad Batch. Let me look it up real quick. Captain Rex voice actor. Huh. Well, I'll be damned. Okay, anyway. Basically, it's like this. He is a legend and he does not get paid enough. I'm going to get kind of sentimental throughout this entire video. So if you're sticking with me, I really know you care about what I do. Okay, how do I say this? This show tells a story about family far better than anything Fast and the Furious have ever tried to do or even dared to do. The show makes you care about characters who are almost identical in so many ways and yet different in so many ways. I understood Crosshair's struggle and I understood the Bad Batch's struggle as well. They're trying to raise a child in a changing galaxy and it's really hard because everything they knew has literally fallen apart and been destroyed. They have turned on their Jedi. Everything is topside and everything is wrong. The bad guys are the good guys now and the good guys are the bad guys. But more importantly, it's a story about brothers trying to find their way in the galaxy. And I always found that story interesting to me. Crosshair especially, I thought I was going to hate and throughout every episode, I found myself questioning, how come I don't hate this character? Everything about him is everything I hate about multiple characters in modern day media. He's angry and bitter for very little reason, but his reason is valid. From his point of view, he felt forgotten by his brothers. He felt abandoned and the Empire was the only ones that kept him going. The only thing that gave him purpose, like the Empire was the only thing he had after his brothers quote unquote abandoned him. And you can understand where the Bad Batch is coming from as well because they love him wholeheartedly they love him bro they're brothers and that has never changed before during and after the clone wars they are brothers and they love each other wholeheartedly and they just want their brother back they want his they want their friend back and i can sympathize with that and of course you already know omega is pretty much the heart of the show obviously she, people thought she was going to be a grogu 2.0 but no she has her own agency and she's so self-aware of everything that's going on and she shows her maturity very well she doesn't feel too bratty she doesn't feel too overpowered or gifted she seems right in the middle she's still a kid and you honestly see that but like i said every scene i always found myself questioning how is crosshair processing what happened and i know I, i'm stuck on crosshair so much but it's just like his story is so interesting to me, and yes, I am upset there's no Rex and Ahsoka cameo coming to the rescue to save the Bad Batch in the finale. I was expecting it. I was mad that we didn't get no Boba Fett and Omega finally meeting up. It, it, it bothered me, but at the end of the day, this isn't their story. This is a story about a ragtag group of renegade clones trying to find their way in this changing galaxy. And how could I not? sympathize with every single one of these characters you had the kaminoans dealing with the fact that they're being phased out along with their clones you have literally the budding empire growing and expanding their reach do any means necessary changing the currency changing the rules of the galaxy as we know it and of course vader is otherwise occupied so there was no big showdown between vader and of course the Bad Batch, as many people were expecting, as Star Wars Theory even theorized, would have been awesome though, but we didn't get that. But more importantly, again, and the acting alone, and they're all voiced by the same dude. Every clone trooper and every Bad Batch dude is voiced by the same guy. And it's amazing. He does not get paid enough because you can see the range in this man's performances every single time you hear his voice. Honestly, I love this voice actor so much, almost as much as I love the f Anakin voice actor <laughs> from the Clone Wars. Like, is that good? I honestly don't put that lightly. The show is so wholesome and it, everything, like you felt the freaking struggle they both were going through. And I mean the Bad Batch and Crosshair. Like when they had that moment, it was like, I'm giving you a choice that you didn't give me. Take it. And in those moments, bro, you felt this man, he did not want to lose his brothers. He still loves his brothers. He fought with them. He was born with them. Everything about these characters stood out so strong, bro. I, I cannot under, I cannot, I, I just can't fully explain why these, these characters in particular mean so much to me. Like when the Clone Wars, you know, 
finally got its final season and i saw the bad batch episodes i was not impressed in the slightest i honestly thought these characters were just i don't know ripoffs of the a-team and i was not here for it but as i watched this show in this clone wars style and everything about it it reminded me why i liked the clone wars it wasn't just because of the jedi it wasn't because of chancellor palpatine and his many rotating voice actors it was because these characters really did steal the show. The clones stole the show. I find myself watching, re-watching a lot of the Clone Wars episodes, mostly the clone episodes with Rex, with Echo, with <laughs> everyone. I, I found myself connecting with characters who look so identical, it's crazy. And still found myself enjoying other parts of the show. But this show, bro, and, and call me blessed that this show is getting a second season because we need this. More expansion of the Empire. More Kaminoan scheming. I, I love that. And maybe we'll get Boba Fett. You you'll never know. There's always a chance that a show about clones might introduce the Alpha in the cloning process. And I, and I really want to see that. Truly, I do. But that brings this video to an end. I know it was pretty sentimental. I normally don't get like this, but this show was so good i literally remember all of their names i barely remember names of shows i especially if i just finished them even when it's fresh in my mind i still find myself having to look up the names or thinking really hard about it but honestly crosshair echo omega <laughs> the list goes on hunter and wrecker had this glorious scene bro he was like we still would have taken you like he they, again you show you can see the love and then you can see the confliction because he really does believe in the Empire. Crosshair, I mean. At the same time, he's still, he really does still love his brothers. He just felt betrayed. He felt abandoned. And at the same time, Wrecker just came clean. He had such an amazing emotional scene from this big, lovable Goliath, bro. I cannot tell you how much I love Wrecker, bro. He is my favorite character. <laughs> Aside from Crosshair. This man literally had a vulnerable moment with his brother. He literally just told him that we would have taken you back without any question and every one of them agrees with it and tech even had a moment of itself he was all like i just because i understand you it doesn't mean i agree with you like these characters are so good they this man does not get paid enough for this like seriously man it touched my heart so much and i cannot explain to you what this means to me like i cannot believe that we get stuff like this like quality can still come out of disney and this was quality to me. More importantly, it, it was a show about family. And, and family means so much to me that I don't get to express that enough. So yeah, this video isn't exactly too funny. And I'm, I'm sorry for that. But I just needed to make this video. My review of this show is a solid 10 out of 10. Without question. The music, everything about it was perfect. The story was well weaved in between the prequels and sequels. And the, the OG. And it was perfect. Honestly, I cannot ask for more. Do me a favor and like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys later. I'm saying, man, truly. Like, honestly, that music video anime thing alone was pretty lit. Like, honestly, there's no shame in it at all. It was pretty cool. But yeah, man, shout out goes out to you. I don't know if you're seeing this.